Now we turn to the weather conditions, again making news tonight, specifically this now dangerous heat consuming a huge part of the country, somewhat unbelievably, parts of now 43 states out of 50 are expected to reach highs of 90 or more by this evening. NBC's Stephanie Gosk following it all from outside Independence Hall in Philly tonight. Stephanie, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Well, here's a fact a lot of people don't realize. There are more deaths in this country from heat every year than from floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, and lightning combined. This heat wave continues. It just gets more dangerous. Searing, sweating summer. How are you guys holding up uh, in this heat? It's really warm. You look like you're really warm. It's, I'm melting, actually. Today, heat advisories and warnings were issued in about a dozen states, creating dangerous conditions for days to come. In Philadelphia, the largest senior center is extending its hours. Our main concern is that a lot of our older adults are dealing with health issues, and they can be compromised as a result of the heat. Especially when there is no chance to cool down, not even at night. Low temperatures in some cities aren't even dipping below 80, putting attacks on people and infrastructure. The cities hold on to the heat because of the asphalt and the buildings and concrete, and so the temperatures don't drop off very much. So we start out high early in the morning, and then the heat builds on top of that. Adding insult to injury, a water main break in Prince George's County, Maryland, will interrupt service for days. It's a big inconvenience, so I'm just trying to prepare me and my family for it. An estimated 100,000 people are preparing for mandatory water restrictions set to take effect tonight. I hope for the best, you know, but I'm prepared for the worst. In New York City, a scary moment at a political rally when a young intern collapsed from heat stroke. It took emergency responders experiencing an influx of weather-related calls more than a half hour to show up. But in Philadelphia, the dogged tourists endured, standing in line for the Liberty Bell. A family from Birmingham, Alabama, said it felt just like home. Do you think Northerners complain too easily about the heat? Uh, yeah, y'all complain about the heat and we complain about the cold. A tour guide shared a bit of interesting history with us. The 1787 Constitutional Convention was held here during brutal summer temperatures. They stuck it out in wool pants with no air conditioning. Brian. A healthy reminder, Stephanie Gosk, Independence Plaza in Philadelphia. Stephanie, thanks.